Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and looky here, we got an updated standard constructed deck. So, last I showed you, the deck was blue-red. I had quite a few commenters telling me, why aren't you just playing black? Well, originally, it was because Languish was expensive. I, I believe I sold the Languish for around eight tickets, uh, I think less than a month ago, and now they're less than four tickets, so they went down quite a bit. So I forked over the money. We got the languishes. Other than that, the deck is still dirt cheap. We've got Silumgar's Command. That's like 16 cents. Very versatile card. Uh, it's a negate with a bounce with a creature kill or a planeswalker kill. So super useful. We've got Crush of Tentacles, um, which is a weird one, admittedly. But it's pretty easy to surge in the late game, and an 8-8 blue octopus is not always so easy to deal with. Uh, we have Transgress the Mine, so we can deal with, you know, pesky planeswalkers early on without having to counter them. Also, see what our opponent is doing um, in case they have a Languish and we want to play Arise from the Tides. We have Dark Petition, which is dirt cheap, actually. It's only 32 cents, so that's really cool. And yes, this in the late game... You will 100% of the time have Spell Mastery, um, and it lets you grab your Rhysmatides or grab a Ruinous Path. It's basically, it just lets you toolkit stuff, and what's nice about it is, in the late game, it really is a Demonic Tutor, right? Because it adds three. It's still not quite a Demonic Tutor, but it's about as close as you're going to get to a standard Demonic Tutor. So, maybe you've noticed already, where is the thing in the ice? Well, here's the problem. If we're, if we're running Languish, we really can't run Thing in the Ice. Um, the only way to make that work would be to use Languish as the fourth spell to flip the Thing in the Ice. And unfortunately, you just cannot align your spells so well, you know? It's just too difficult to do that. We do have access to Read the Bones now, which is another draw card effect side by side with our pieces of the puzzle. A little more costly since it costs life. Some matches that doesn't matter. Some matches it really does, so we'll see. We'll see what I think of it, because Epiphany at the Drown Yard is essentially being replaced with the much more cost-effective Read the Bones. Um, for removal, we have Ultimate Price and Grasp of Darkness. Now, Grasp of Darkness does hit a lot of things, like Archangel Avacyn and an attacking Dragon Lord Ojitai. Uh, basically, anything in White Red Aggro, anything in Bant Humans. But it does not hit a Sylvan Advocate that's gotten big. It also hits Manlands, which is important. So Ultimate Price doesn't hit Manlands, but, but does hit Sylvan Advocate. So there's use for both cards. Maybe a 1-4 split should better be served as a 2-3 split. But I felt like Grasp is better in most situations other than Sylvan Advocate, which I think is correct. But we'll see how much Sylvan Advocate is seeing play. Sideboard, we have Duress. For the control match, obviously. We have Flaying Tendrils, which is more stuff we can bring in against aggro stuff. Uh, another Transgress, some Counter Spells, Ruinous Path, which deals with pesky planeswalkers that have been resolved. We have Grip of Desolation, which is good in control matches, I imagine, or maybe good in just creature matches in general. Exile Target Creature, it's a way to deal with Ulamog, it's a way to deal with uh, World Breaker, as is the Infinite Obliteration which is nice for those matchups. The red-green ramp. We have Mind Rot for control. We have Sphinx of the Final Word uh, for control, I imagine, or things running counter spells. Well, probably control. So this is going to be uh, the version of the deck we're going to be playtesting today. We're going to see how it runs. We have two Mage Ring Networks now. I really like this card in the deck. I think it's something to put your mana into. Lets you make some big plays in the mid, mid to late game. Which I think is important. So we'll see if this is better or worse than the blue-red version. I imagine it's going to be better. It looks better. And everybody was saying it It seemed better. So mana base is looking pretty too. Sunken Hollow is about a ticket. Choke Destroyer was less than. I think it was 66 cents. So we managed to get all the lands we needed to, to fix for the deck. And that's very cheap. So yes, this deck is very, very cheap. Most expensive card is Languish. This was only about 16 tickets worth of cards here, which is not too terrible if that's borderline the, the total cost of your deck, which it is close to being. So uh, 
yes, I, I basically got this list from Travis's stream. It's uh, essentially the same. Now, there's a couple things different, but mostly the same list. Uh, mo mostly the same 75. So let's do some tournament room practice and see how it does. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber, if you want to see more content like this, as well as more drafts. Uh, please like the video and uh, tune in to my Twitch stream, which is Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays, pretty much all day. All right, let's get to our first match here. All right, here we are in the first match. Let's move this window here just a little bit. So, oh. All right, here we are in the first match. This is a keepable hand for sure. Opponent is playing first. Ah, mirror match. Okay. So, yes, this is going to be a bit challenging because we're going to run a lot of blue spells. But if we can get rid of his Rise from the Tides, we should be fine. I think Transgress is... So this is a mono-blue version of what we do. The mono-blue prison deck, I believe it's called. Um, so this should be interesting. But I think Transgress is going to be good for us. Yeah, so the only win con our opponent's deck has, from my understanding, is Rise from the Tides as well. So, yes, this is definitely that deck. So, Engulf the Shores lets him bounce everything. Um, let's just make him ditch Days Undoing. We've got another Transgress, I guess, for the Engulf the Shore, so... Sure. Unfortunately, Hydro Lash is kind of a, a blowout against a horde of zombies, too, isn't it? So next turn we can pieces. All we saw was Hydro Lash and Days Undoing and, and Engulf the Shores. He can gain a bunch of life. That's not going to matter as long as our Horde of Zombies gets through. It's pieces now. Uh, I mean, sure. We'll take a Languish and a read. Languish is at least going to let us deal with his nonsense. And the only reason I took the Days Undoing is just to take that option away from him early. Because I still have a Transgress for his Engulf the Shore later. And, uh, I mean, I can... I imagine this is going to go to the late game. Neither of these decks are particularly fast at killing each other. All the languages. All right, let's uh, let's do a transgress. I'm ready. So let's take the engulf the shore. You can have a hydro lash. All right. So now we're going to anticipate. So obviously his main deck is set up for aggro. Cuz life gain is irrelevant. Hydro lash. Actually, I guess hydro lash is not irrelevant. All he's got is he's got all his prism rings. So, yeah, he's he's in a bit of trouble. Sure, Clash of Wills, take it. Scatter to the winds. All right, let's read the bones. Let's read some bones here. 
We want to get some more mana. We want to build up to Dark Petition. Yeah, I don't think we need that. We'll take this, though. Sure. All right, let's transgress again. Golf to shore number two gone. So yes, we can dark petition now. Um, but remember, we basically still need eight mana to dark petition into rise. But I mean, we can we can still dark petition now, and just get the rise for next turn. But I think we actually still want to wait. I still think we want to anticipate one more time. Maybe find another land. Sure. Let's play the land. Now we can Dark Petition. So let's get our one of our Rise of the Tides. So, I think we're going to play this super patiently. Although, we, we have already dealt with two Engulf the Shores. We could just go for the Rise, but... I guess I'm one land from Rise plus Scatter to the Wind, so why don't we just wait a turn on that? No reason to rush this. Okay. So next turn, like I said, we can rise plus scatter to the winds, which maybe is all we need. Um, we could use a clash on this. We need to do it for five. One, two, three, four, five. And we still can pump our mage ring network. All right. So let's rise. All right. <clears throat> so we can deal with, I guess Hydra Lash is gonna buy him a turn or two, but as long as we scatter the engulf the shore, we're fine. That's the only priority card and once we, okay. So, we know what the opponent's plan is, which means more hand disruption, discard, which is weird against a Rise deck, but still correct. Uh, infinite Obliteration unfortunately only does creature cards. So, let's do some negates as well. And our plan is just pick their hand apart. So, let's get rid of spot removal which we don't need keep the languages though um crusher tentacle still kills all his tokens probably keep all the counters 
could actually take out the Clash of Wills, um, since we have just strictly better counters now. That lets me keep everything else the same. Although Sylvangar's command probably not necessary, is it? All right, let's dump the commands. I don't see why we need them in this matchup. So, all right. This seems like a good sideboard plan. Oh, I could do Flying Tendrils instead of Languish, huh? Does essentially the same thing for a cheaper price. Seems good to me. Let's do that. All right. Uh, opponent's mulliganing, we're going to keep this. And he said, I'm already liking this brew. Uh-oh. Looks like opponent's in some trouble. All right. Well, opponent said no lands, so it looks like they're done. All right. Well, not quite, uh... Not exactly what we want to see in our playtesting because it's more beneficial to see how we sideboard against these matches. Sideboarding is half the battle in Standard Constructed, but uh, that's all right. Let's 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 move on and see if we play another possible Tier 1 deck here shortly.